With the coronavirus pandemic spreading across the globe, it's no wonder that theme parks have been forced to close. However, it's also no wonder that, with the virus at the front of everyone's mind, people are longing for the escapism that theme parks provided. While it may be impossible to physically visit the theme parks until this crisis stops, there are plenty of other ways to replicate the theme park experience at home. Let's start by breaking down what parts of a theme park you would want to experience. Generally, you are looking for either the rides, the shows, the food, the theming, the shops, or the events. Replicating the events from home is practically impossible, and it looks like most of these are being cancelled rather than postponed. This includes Universal's Mardi Gras celebration, Disney's After Hours Day scheduled through at least April 13th, and most Six Flags parks, well, opening. While the experience of the events in the park may be out of the question for now, rides certainly are not. There are plenty of YouTube channels that offer ride-through videos of almost anything in any major theme park, and Six Flags even offers official videos of all their rides. While these virtual ride-throughs may be a far cry from an actual trip to Disneyland or Universal, they definitely give you at least a partial feeling of being on the ride, especially if you have some help. <laughs> Along with video ride-throughs, you can also find plenty of recordings of shows from theme parks online as well. In fact, Disney just released an official video of their Magic Happens Parade, something fans have definitely been asking for. Besides the rides and shows, there are some other ways to bring the parks home to you. For starters, you can try making some of the theme park food for yourself. Well, again, it'll never be quite the same as getting it in the parks, there are quite a few famous theme park dishes you can make at home. For example, all you need to make Dole Whip is pineapple juice, powdered sugar, coconut milk, and a banana. We'll have a few common recipes linked in the description, but there are definitely plenty more to find. Maybe you could even make your own. Next up is theming, and this is where it gets really interesting. Both of Universal's parks, SeaWorld, and the majority of Disney parks in Orlando can be walked through with Google Street View. This lets you go almost wherever you want, at your own pace. Certain areas in the Disney parks also have some extra easter eggs hidden around. You can even play GeoGuessr, a game where you are put in a random location on Google Street View and have to figure out where you are, within many major theme parks. In the description is a link to those games, as well as a short video of me being very bad at said games. The last section on my list is shops, and this is another fairly disappointing one. While you can still order souvenirs online, it's not nearly the same experience as being able to walk through well-themed shops in the theme parks themselves. However, just being able to get that one souvenir sent to you, especially if you had a trip planned for this time that now has to be cancelled, can be way better than nothing. I know it was for me. Ah, there you are! And just in time, there's a little matter I forgot to mention. In addition to everything else, the Disney Parks YouTube channel has been uploading videos fairly frequently since the park closed, and they provide an interesting look at what parts of the park are still functioning even while the guest site is closed. So while it may be a while before you can physically visit the theme parks again, there are definitely some ways to have at least a portion of the experience from your home. Thank you for watching Theme Park Adventures, and stay safe and healthy.